Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we'll continue be to discuss about IMO and SC problems. So here we have problems 11, 12 and 13 on our list in this video. And so take a look at the problems yourself and I'll show them step by step. Well, maybe not in the best way possible, but I hope you get what I mean. So here we have problem 11, determine the number of even, even integers between 4000 and 9000 with all four digits different. So here are the two main points. Even meaning the last digit is either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. So we only have five choices. So here let's take a look. So uh, for four digit numbers between 4000 and 9000. So let's, let's see what do we have. Okay. So for the thousandth digit, which is the front, the front most one, so we have four, five, six, seven, and eight. But, uh, because our, how do I say, our unit digit, which is this part, has to be one of these five, and then for four, six, and eight, they have already taken away one. So we need to divide this into two cases. So here we have. So the first case is in which um, the thousandth digit is either 4, 6 or 8. So because we we have three choices over here because it's either 4, 6 or 8, right? <laughs> and then here, the units digit, we have maybe, maybe say we took away 4. We still have 4 choices left for even numbers. So we still have 4 over here. And then in general, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we have taken, maybe say we have taken away uh, 4 and 6. So maybe say this one is 4. Okay, we, we have 3 choices here, 4 choices here. So we still have 8 numbers left to fit in here. And then after we have chosen one number, we maybe say 7. And then we will still have 7 numbers left. So, uh, for the first case in which, uh, the thousandth digit is either 4, 6, or 8, namely an even number, we will have 3 times 8 times 7 times 4 is 672 cases. Okay? And now we have a second case in which maybe the thousandth digit is 5 or 7. Say? So now we have two cases. And then for the units digit, because we need an even number, so all five of them are still available, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, so we still have five choices, so maybe say we take 0. And then now we still have eight choices, and then as the same as the above, seven choices, and then here we have 560 cases. So actually, these are all the cases calculated, so you don't need to count them one by one, because it, one is a very daunting, very tiring task, and two, I don't know what to say, okay? So... 672 plus 560 take out don't take out your calculator please uh do it mentally because uh most olympiad problems can be solved without using a calculator as stated in their uh how do i say i don't know okay so 672 plus 560 equals to 1232 which is our answer for problem 11 so one two three two okay and uh problem 12 so I need to erase this because it's taking up some space. Take a look at it yourself. For any positive integer and let uh, this function denote the sum of the even digits of n. For example, a32 is a plus 2 equals 10. Find the value of 1 up to 1000. So uh, here I will need to tell you one thing. It, it is that you do not need to find every specific e1, e2 until e1000 specifically. We, you do not need to do that. Instead, what you can do is, how do I say, you can arrange this maybe in some kind of maybe table form and then observe, right? So, uh, wait, okay, give me a few seconds. Okay, sorry, I've just come back to my senses, but okay, so write this in table form, maybe ideally in a 10 times 100, maybe. Or if you if you can write in three D, I don't think that's possible. But yeah, okay. So we have one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine and ten, and then uh eleven, twelve, dot 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 nineteen twenty. Then uh what do we have next? Twenty one. Twenty two. Dot dot dot. Twenty nine. Thirty. Okay. Then dot 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 dot. Okay. So we will find the last two. 
so this one would be uh nine eight one nine eight two dot 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 nine eight nine 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 zero and then we have nine eight one nine nine two dot 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 nine 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 the last one will be one thousand so this is some this is the graph i'll imagine it to be and uh here are a few things that you can observe so since we are only finding the sum of the even digits so how many even digits are over here so look at the second fourth sixth and eighth and tenth column so you can see all of these are even numbers so we can take the two from here so the two we will have how do i say we will have how many of these so i will have 200 so 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 no 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 i will have 100 of these because 10 times 100 so i have 100 of these these are from the unit digits unit so we will have 2000 okay so this is for the units digit so what about the tens digit digits okay sorry tens so tens we also have 20 40 60 80s right okay so we have 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 again and then uh since in every hundred in every 100 there will be 10 numbers with the with their tens digit as 2 10 numbers with tens digit 4 10 numbers with 10 digit 6 and so on with 8 so we will have 10 of these and then how many hundreds are there so in 1000 so there are 10 hundreds i hope you are getting what i'm saying maybe okay. so we so how how do i actually re pick, pick visualize this so we have 20 and then 21 until 29 then 40 until 49 then we have until 80 until 89 uh we don't we do not need to count the zero because it's essentially equal we do you add, adding it or not is still the same value then we will have 120 and then 121 and then until 129 and then just add it up okay so counting we will get also 2000 and okay so the last one is uh, we will get for the hundreds digit so this is a 10 so we have hundreds so we have one no 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 we will still have 200, 400, 600, 800, right? So, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. And then, uh, it, so for every, so there will be 100 such numbers with their 100 digits 2, 100 such numbers with their 100 digits 4, and then and so on for 6 and 8. So, this one is also uh, multiplied by 100 because there are 100 numbers like this. So, this one is 2000. And yeah, so by doing so, we will, ha we will have basically covered all of the, how should I say? We have covered basically all of the even numbers from even digits from 1 to 1000. So you just, what you need to do next, which is the final step, is to add these three 2000s up, which is 6000. And lo and behold, you have gotten your answer. So here, take note. Okay, very good. Okay guys, this is like the second or third time I'm editing already. So uh, now we'll be discussing the last question, problem 13. So take a look at the question yourself. I won't be narrating it. As you can see over here, up here, I have written a sequence of numbers. Okay, just side note. This one will require a lot of explanation, so this one might take until well over 15 minutes, this whole video. So, yeah, buckle up, boys. <laughs> okay, so here on these numbers, you can see that I have written 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21. So, on which number have I written this, uh, on which position they have, they have been placed in? So, this one is the last one, the last two, the last three, the last four the last five and the last six uh and you can see okay so i like to how to say i like to tell a little story over here so this is a mathematician's name you can find it on the web his name is goss uh and someone in his class did something bad so the teacher punished them by asking them to count one plus two plus until 100 so maybe for you it's like an easy task right now i don't know but for them, it was like, oh, the students were counting 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Yeah, very slowly. So, what did what this Goss did was, he did the same thing. He just copied out the same thing. 
but he did it in reverse. So plus until one, something like that. Okay. So you can see one plus one hundred is one zero one. Two plus nine is also one zero one. And then the last one is also one zero one. So how many one zero ones do I have here? One hundred of them. I have one hundred and one zero ones. But what I want to find is the the upper bar. Although the below one is also the same lah. So I just divided by two because I originally doubled it. And this is how we have got to learn uh, this kind of formula. So let me give you a generalized formula. So 1 plus 2 plus until n is equals to n times uh, n plus 1 divided by 2. And this formula we will be using in this particular question. As you can see over here, this 3 is equal to 2 times 3 divided by 2. 6 is equals to 3 times 4 divided by 2. And then uh, 10 is 4 times 5 divided by 2. 5 is 5 times 6 divided by 2. And then 21 is 6 times 7 divided by 2. So we can say that the... So we can say from here, maybe you can say the last n, the maybe, the, maybe some x term has value n. The last n will be in the n times n plus 1 divided by 2 th okay this whole thing th term so uh, we want to make an estimation right we want to make an estimation of maybe uh, so this 2020 might be smaller than some n times n plus 1 divided by 2 and then might it might be bigger than some uh, n minus 1 times n divided by 2 you can see these are consecutive terms and why do I need to use this? Because uh, 20, for the 2020 of term, this, it, will, it will have the value n. So I will need to determine this one. Actually, uh, actually we just need to find this one enough already. Huh? So, uh, how? Uh, we are. So 4040 4, is smaller than n squared plus n and then uh, this one you will need to how do I say this one you will need to uh, do some maybe estimation yourself I don't know I actually they do, this competition doesn't encourage you to use calculator but you can la right so maybe you do this one so something like this maybe suddenly something at n plus one plus one half and then this one is somewhere between 63 so um yeah let's see i'm because i'm not really sure i actually i'm doing this impromptu so give me a few seconds to pause and talk okay i need to clarify because i did something wrong just now but uh this is this thing in the box still remains the still remains correct so uh in case you forgot the question i need to move up a little bit so this are this uh question over here uh and then we will have maybe uh n minus one and then n minus one and then until n and n and then until n. So this last n will be the n times n plus one divided by two term, th term, and then this one will have the n minus one times n divided by two th term. So uh we need to find maybe twenty twenty lies somewhere in here, and then it will have the value of n. So uh this one will. How do I say? Uh, this one, maybe you can use a calculator, lah. But, but okay, so after using the calculator, or maybe try not to use the calculator actually. But uh, I I don't know. I'm just contradicting myself. I'm so sorry. N squared plus n. So uh maybe you can, maybe estimate this. Maybe this one is sixty three something, right? So. Put in, put the 63, maybe suppose n is 63 and then you put it inside here. So 63 times 64 divided by 2 and then just try and calculate without using calculator. Maybe it's 2016. But 2016 is smaller than 2020. So we move on to the next number which is 64. So put in 64, 64 times 65 divided by 2 is 2080. Yeah. So uh, the last term which will have value 64 is the 2080th term and then we can see that this 2020 lies between 2016 and 2080 so uh, our 2020th term finally will have a value of uh, 64
four. So check it. See if you got it correct. I'm sorry because I actually made quite a few mistakes along the way. Uh, I think the next video will also be very long, but do not fret because that will be the last video in which I'll be discussing three questions. So see you till the next video.